there is another hidden point which many of us will not be aware of. If you observe here, this part dips in, so you have to bring it out towards the opposite angle. Then you will understand the stretching of the leg, bottom portion or the upper portion of the bottom portion of the inner ankle. There you should observe the Tadasana. It's very difficult to do Tadasana. That means from here to here, from here to here, if there is a slight circular drop, one knee goes out. So to bring the knee which is far away from the center, this is the break. So you have to move the skin downwards and you have to compress the inner plate of the between the ankle and the heel. Parivata Trikonasana, normal breathing. Take a deep inhalation and jump along to exhalation. Now take the left foot in. When, you, when we take the left foot in, you should become aware of here, this portion. Without collapsing this, you have to take that in. The groins, the hamstrings. Then turn the right foot out with the top right leg revolving. Extend your arm. Now adjust your distance in case you find. Now with an exhalation, revolve the trunk, bringing the left arm over the right foot. Now, take the left hand slightly back towards the back leg. Then pressing the thumb side and the big toe of the right and the thumb of the left. Stretch both the arms. Do Tadasana with your right leg and right leg and left arm. Then extend the body. As if you are doing Tadasana on the hand also. Then grip your participants of the rear leg. Grip it, turn. Inhale, come up. Take the right foot in, left foot out. Extending the arm without dropping the inner right leg. Revolve the trunk. Revolve the waist also at the same time, lower waist. Bring the right arm outside the foot. Then pressing the thumb, the right. Do Tadasana on your right thumb, revolve the body. Now in this one, you have to keep the inner edge of the heel of the front foot on the floor to run turn the spine. And grip the quarter muscles of the both, stretch the left leg backwards, right leg upwards. Inhale, you come up. Take the foot in, exhale, foot in the Normal breathing. How to adjust is both the knees should run parallel. If there is a disparity between your right and left leg weight, the distance is not accurate. When you spread your stamp like that, you have to feel the weight on this foot and on that foot. If there is slight variation, this part touching somewhere, that part is touching somewhere, the distance is less or more. So you have to adjust. Like a balancer, some side and the weight, some side there is no weight, only vegetables are kept. So they tap off little, put little more like that you have to <laughs> Now, with an exhalation, switching the hand, especially from the collarbone, with an exhalation, bring the opposite arm over the frontal foot. Pressing the palm. It's very difficult to revolve the bottom side of the chest. It's very easy to turn here, very difficult to turn here. So you have to create space here and move your trapezium muscles straight up. Trapezium muscles up of the left in order to get a good pose. Then you have to stamp the outer edge of the foot on the floor firmly. Uh, bring the body back, stabilize your back foot. And then with the back foot, turn the quarter slightly to the front, you get the pose. The chest will turn with the left quarter set muscle. Right quarter, outer quarter set muscle is the break. So there should be no disturbance here. From here, keeping it locked, lift, turn the other leg. Good. Open your chest, you are collapsing, the diaphragm should face your head, diaphragm should face your head, still face. Move the diaphragm towards your head, now that way. Now inhale, come up. Take the foot in, exhale, 
fit together so that I can go to the other, take a deep inhalation, exhale, spread the legs apart. You know the name of the pose, I suppose? May I know what's the name of this? Perivrutta Trikonasana. Now take the right foot in, left foot out. Now, watching the shoulder blade of the from here, extend this arm. Now with an exhalation, without, say when you turn, you forget the chest. Without forgetting the side chest, which is open, keep it broad. Now with an exhalation, bring the opposite arm. Don't collapse the chest. The stronger the chest, the better the movement. Pressing your finger now. Bring your ear should be in line to the middle of the toe so that you can adjust your body. Don't move the head too much forward, too much backward in a line. Now lift the inner top leg of the right up and now revolve the spine. It comes better. Lifting here. And you have to revolve the spine. Good. Good. Mm. Inhale, come up. Now take the foot in, exhale, fit together. Now you can see if you want. In this position, Parivita Trikonasana, I will give you some points which also are akin to Tadasana. So if you don't do that, not only the Tadasana goes wrong, all the other poses go wrong. So that spot I will show you in Parivita Trikonasana, which you can see better than in Tadasana. When I do the pose, when I take, now I bring my hand. When I bring my hand, can you see the foot what happened? From the edge of the heel to the ankle. This is known as Shavasana. So though the pose is there, but the leg is sleeping. So what I do, from the ball point of the little toe, I revolve the whole foot to the front. Then when I'm doing it, you can see the groin and the ankle are brought towards the big toe side. Can you see how I touch that floor? Yes. So this is real action. Whereas we create a dent and we continue the pose, which is the wrong pose. So you have to touch it. So when I have to turn the spine, look the action there too. Then I lift here. Can you see? To get it still, you have better grip. That is the brain. Now here, I'm changing in order to give you. When I keep my hand, as I showed, that the inner ankle gets the dip here, this goes out. So it, it has, you observe the skin here. You have to observe the skin here. The skin is sucked into the bone here. The skin has come out. So when I'm doing this pose, I stretch from here towards the little toe. Then I suck the skin to be thinner. Can you see now? Mm -hmm. Then when I'm turning, this goes deep into my leg. Today, you know Kofi, who is, all, who is an advanced student in yoga. So on him, I will experiment for you to learn that there is still plenty to learn, even in the simplest pose, which is so complicated that it does not bring to the attentions of what we are losing when we are doing that pose. Kofi, can you come? Now do the pause. Better to become that one. Both ways here to do front and back. Now, as I explained to you, if you observe that triangle, it's not a right angle triangle. That is why if you are, I'm showing the mistakes so that you can learn more and more. Because I may come once in two years or once in five or never, who knows? So this opportunity should not be lost. If a line is drawn, you have to observe. Follow? Because the distance of the leg is so little, so it drops down, it does not come up. So what I do, in order to get this action, I move. What happened here? So this is how each one has to learn. Now if you observe, 
this skin or this shin bone it is moving this way this is moving this is known as distortion in poses but for appearance nobody will know oh it's very good now you have to draw your line as the river flows within the back our energies also should flow in the back here the the bank is too strong here here it is too light too strong here so we, you have to move this muscle to my hand this way you know the wall with your hand with your own hand now, now stretch this hand up now can you see what happened to the bank of that line mm -hmm. no defect at all then in order to get this pose where is the rope i lost now whatever you do can you see he, the outer edge of the foot doesn't touch the ground that's why for some people we have to help them so i just keep my toe and i just touch his knees like dog pose stretch can you see now mm, come on now because i'm gripping this he can stretch this leg more see the bend so it's not at all because it is partial konasana leg in partial konasana you bend right 90 degrees right here even 10 degrees is gone now stretch that leg now he can't stretch that leg now same way i will show now come on take the support of that rope and then come with the rope towards me can you see the stretch so so much so many things are here which will never come to the surface unless and until we notice these things and now the other way sir facing the mirror now this is for everyone to love and share with us yes any side you can do there's not matter to you now if you take a line see how strong we are here how poor we are getting here so sometimes as a teacher we just put the rock like this now what he does with his hand i will help him to get the action and now i can turn any amount then after giving the intelligence on that part we take the rock now now he can turn that more after turning this leg should be separated from that leg and actual balance is on the back groin here the more he stretches the back groin towards the right leg like, the better the pose come on can you see the rotation of the spine mm -hmm. so that is how one has to go on learning non stop otherwise we think that we know then we are lost no 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 okay Turn the outer legs inwards. In Tadasana, always this should turn inwards, which never turns. Only lower legs will turn in. The top legs will never turn in. We are going to go out. Turn the top legs in. Blue in. And now take a deep inhalation. Exhale, jump over the body. Take your arms. Take the left leg out. Left leg. Take the left leg deep inwards. Uh, now bend your knee. Rest your chest on your thigh. Wait a while. Long breathing. Now pressing the big toe of the right, extending the left big toe all the way from the body. Come. The left toe should be very heavy, not light. If it is light, you can feel shaking. Head down or the side. Now stretch the from the arch to the heel backwards, so that you can stand longer. Now turn the left toe to face the floor. Extend the leg backwards, arms forward. Go back to Virabha Drasana. Inhale, come up. And take the foot in. Exhale, sit down. now i am again showing once for you to know the mistake 
Now, when I'm, when I'm doing this pose, when you are all, all doing, you did the pose, you are like this. See that leg, lifted leg. You are going like this. So you have to turn in and you have to stretch that toe. Not this way. Hold on. Can you draw once again? Same side. Same side, please. So, jump four feet apart. Take your arms up. You take the right foot out, left leg in. With the left knee cap. Knee cap should be revolving, otherwise you will never get the pose. Raising the heel, inner heel of the left. Extend, and now bend your knee. Now rest your chest on the thigh. Then, with an exhalation, come up. After lifting, you have to revolve the inner ligament of the knee towards the outer ligament. Go on revolving here. This should turn. This is the brain. You have to turn here and extend. Come on. Like a football, you have to keep the foot strong to extend. Now come on. Arms up, please. Go back to your person. Inhale, come up. Take the foot in. Arms sideways. Exhale, fit together. Now look, I will correct the other group. This part should be doing Tadasana as far as possible when you lift your leg up. For example, when we do, we make it to sleep and that's why we don't do it. Can you see now? So what I do, I lift this portion. So that's why I press this area out and big toe with the arch. Then I'm balancing there. If I shake here, I shake the toes. So I have to keep that in contact with the wood to stretch. Can you see it is coming up? Mm -hmm. Now I stretch. Did you understand how I roll the toe in? So that is very important. Take a deep inhalation, exhale, jump apart four feet, four to four and a half feet. And then take your arms up. When you stretch your arm, you have to lift from the inner leg for the arms to go up. You can't just do the arms without using this part. Come on, from here, suck the skin up. The arms come straight. Uh, now, take the right foot in, left foot out. Now, turning the left foot, you have to revolve the right hip to come in line to the inner leg of the left. So much you have to revolve the right. Come on, left go straight, right. Uh, right, uh, right go straight, left goes on revolving. Now with an exhalation, bend your knee. When you bend, you have to move from the inner bottom line, forward, skin. You should not just flex, you have to move. Good. Uh, now revolve the left hip a little more, look up. Uh, now with an exhalation, rest your chest on your thigh. When I don't speak about the breathing, you have to do normal breathing at that time. You extend the middle finger, bone and the knuckles. Now with an exhalation, slowly come. Suppose you lose the balance, you have to push this back. Bottom ankle back, top ankle forward. I'm told top shin forward, bottom shin back. Then you can balance longer. Now the palms. Now, bottom shin back, top shin forward. And stretch. Revolve your hips. Left, right hip towards the ground, right hip towards the ground, left hip towards the ceiling. Now, go back to the other side. Try again once again, if you can do it, do it again, and come up. And now inner leg should be doing Tadasana straight. What is that muscle grip? Push this in, then you get it. Now extend the arm forward, leg backward, together, together. As you stretch the right toe back, your middle finger and thumb should stretch forward. Now go back to Virabhadrasana. Inhale, come up, come to the front, arm sideways. Exhale, fit together. Good. Well done. So as long as the standing poses are not stable, firm, accurate, you will never know, even in back bends, how to adjust the leg and the spine. So that's why I am taking this example. Now, do the pose here, yourself. And take your arms up. Any side, first you do this side, then you do this side. Now bend. 
Now having done the back bends, you can observe that all his movements are here. This is completely forgotten. In Yoga Sutras you get, you know, dull, scattered mind and concentrated mind. Now if you observe, this is a stable mind, this is a scattered mind, this is a dull mind in the body. So what I do is, I take this back and then I move this forward. And after moving that, I just separate the button and turn with the kneecap towards the ground by raising the heel a little up. So that you get the space to do all the leg. After turning the knee in, he has to touch the heel to the ground. Now see so the movement is different. Tailbone goes in. Now rest your chest on your back. Now with an exhalation come up. Now I will touch him in such a place where you know is the key. I just tip, touch my toe and he gets the balance well. He can stabilize the pose. So that is known as this part is the stabilizing part. If you observe carefully, he is good here, he is good here. But if you observe here, this is dropping. So he has to bring the groin nearer to the pubis. Then he has to lift this part. Can you see the difference it makes? Go on stretching, maximum don't stop. Still it goes up half inch. That's the pose. See, I'm controlling him. If I leave him, he starts shaking. Can you see now? Now I touch him again. Now he will get the stretch here also. Can you see? Mm -hmm. So this is known as key points or the source of action. The, you should know source of action on the other side too. See? Thank you. Okay. Not necessary. Now, if you observe, in order to get the pause, I keep my leg and I go on rolling. Can you see now? Then I say hit the shin, head of the shin backwards. Head of the shin back and revolve the buttocks separately. In order to revolve, you have to revolve the shoulders. Can you see this movement? Now, he stretches very well, but not here. So now can you see, because we cover the clothes, we don't know. So there, from here, like a tarasana, stretch straight. That means everything goes forward. Can you see the differences now? See the movement. Come on, stretch. Now, now rest your chest on your thigh and come up. Now, his lifted leg is here alone. Now, come up. So this is the bifurcating point. From here, you stretch up to here. From here, you stretch forward. So this is the divider. So in this divider, one stretch goes this way, one stretch goes that way. Then only this leg comes straight. Now see, he cannot. So I stamp the metal torsos, head to the metal torsos. Then he can hit the shin back, come on. Push back heavy. Goes, goes, shin bone down. Ah, correct. Can you see the difference? Yes. So it takes another six months for him, if he does, to get that straight. Daily practicing. So they doing back bends that is neglected. In back bends you never stretch there. It it's always bent. You know, as long as there is effort, effortful effort means certain strain, certain demand from the body. When the effortless effort transforms itself into an effortless effort, from that day on, we, the joy and the pleasure of doing the process sets in. And that is the time we say that the duality of fight and non-fight, aggressiveness and passivity disappears and there is a balance between these two and the poise sets into the system and one starts enjoying. The peace comes when the effortful effort ceases and becomes an effortless effort. And from that day on, yoga becomes a pleasure. You know, in, in the standing poses, the simplest is the Virabhadrasana too. And the complicated standing pose is Parivrutta Parshakonasana. Because there are lots of rotations in this pose. 
which is very difficult to learn, even including me. Of course, I was doing very well, but after that uh, accident, I lost a little grip. So that's why I get the problem. If I had no accident, I would have maintained the same action. First, I show you. I will show front and back so that you understand the movement of the frontal body as well as the back body. This is quite opposite to this Parshu Konasana where you are bending and placing the palm on the same side. Here it is completely a revolvement of the body. You have to bend your knee and then you have to bring the back of the arm to the opposite side. You have to touch it on the floor. You have to, in the beginning, we lift that heel up, which you can see. Then you have to go down to touch it on the floor. This is the pose. Now to, on the front to catch. Sometimes the most important thing in this pose is that after squaring the leg, when we take the hand like this, we raise the buttocks up. Can you see? Mm -hmm. So that is where the moment it goes up, you cannot rotate at all. So you have to go down more and more. And then you have to keep the hands. Do you understand? Or do you want me to do it again? Now, look at my hinges. When we do Tarasana, we go forward. From the heel to the knee. Me, yourself. You know it's slanting? Mm -hmm. So this is not Tarasana. Now without disturbing how I go backwards. Can you see now? Unless and until you get that action, in Pariyuta Pashupanasana, you cannot open this area. We close this area. That's why you have to learn. Whenever you do Tarasana, sometimes you have to hit back. From here, to the bottom of your palm itself, without the seven position. You can see that front. My shins do not change at all. Now how I hit back, you can see. If you see my kneecap, the patella, patella of the knee, can you see as if my knee, patella is into two parts? Can you see the cut here? And one day or the other, you have to get that middle cut. That means you have got a tremendous mobility in the knee. Did you see? Yes. Then the hinges are well placed, well extended. Now, all of you, take a deep inhalation. Exhale, jump about five times. A little more than three months. Now take the right foot out, left foot in. Then spread your leg a little more. Then with an exhalation, bend your knee. After bending, the big toe should not roll towards the little toe. The bent leg. Now with an exhalation, take the buttock bone down. Raise the pubis up. It might, as I'm showing you, with the help of the hand. So that you can turn. Then place the back of the upper arm against the knee. Revolve the pubis. Then Turn as much as you can, then take the hand over the head. Then lift your heel of the left, extend the heel bone backwards for it to go down, without moving the right knee backward. Inhale, come up. Take your right foot in, left foot up. Now, as you are bending, do not drop this leg the right inner back of the leg. Lift ascend to descend this. Ascend the rear leg to descend the front leg. Place your hand on your thighs. Exhale, revolve your pubis towards the outer leg. Then with an exhalation, turn the arms and place it on the floor. 
and take their number over the head. 